Happy Women's History Month, dear listeners. Here's the thing. I don't think we need a month because we should be highlighting our goodness every goddamn day. But okay, until that happens, yeah, okay. I guess I'll take a month of extra compliments. Why not? This is Choice Words. I'm Samantha B. I happen to spend a particularly special day this month for a live recording at South by Southwest with three incredible women. Pamela Adlon, who you know from Better Things, Ilana Glazer from Broad City, and Michelle Buteau from Survival of the Thickest. It was nourishing to be on stage with ladies as funny, as compassionate as the three of them. They have joined forces to bring us a new film that comes out in May called Babes, which is all about female friendship and the truly insane (laughs) surprises of pregnancy and childbirth. I cannot think of a better movie to talk about during a month that is all about women. The film is directed by the incredible Pamela Adlon and written by Ilana Glazer. She also co-stars in it with Michelle Buteau. So take a listen and make good choices. A beautiful crowd. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm so goddamn excited to have this conversation. (laughs) Of course, you know everybody who's on the panel here, Pamela Adlon, Ilana Glazer, (laughs) Michelle Buteau. And thank you for joining us. This is a live taping of my podcast, Choice Words. And we're going to talk about a lot of choices here today. And we're going to talk about the movie that you all made together called Babes, which I saw and I fucking loved it. So, oh my God, we got a lot to get to. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for having yeah. us. In this cavernous space. In this dry. In this dry convention arena. <laughs> we have a competing <laughs> podcast occurring right next door with featuring Conan O'Brien. God damn him to hell. And don't you dare, <laughs> don't you dare try to leave. How many people are in there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the doors are barred. You're fucking here with us, <laughs> and it's going to be way better. Okay. So this is a little bit unusual. I don't usually do live episodes, but we do have these three incredible guests, and we have so much to talk to them about. I generally start, like when I start the podcast, I always like to launch into it kind of that z- the entry point is that we talk about choices that we've made in our lives, like Super big choices, little choices, things that impacted life in an expected or unexpected way. So you've all worked together on this beautiful film, Babes. Uh, Of course, you've done incredible work individually as well. Pamela, I'm going to start with you because you directed this movie uh, that brings us all here today. And really, directing is all about... It is exclusively about making big decisions, <laughs> huge decisions, little decisions. All the decisions are yours to make, and it is an insane process. Do you like that? Do you love that feeling of being in charge? Do you relish it? Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you know, and we are all moms here on the stage, and um, it, it was really funny for me because I had three kids, um, when they were little, when I started being a director professionally, yeah. and uh, nobody would listen to me <laughs> in my house. <laughs> so I was like, oh, these people <laughs> really want my opinion, and they want to listen to me. And one of the things that I learned from one of the first ADs I worked with, Maria Mantia, on uh, season one of my show, Better Things, she said... Yes. Thank yes, you. God damn um, it. She, she said, it's your ability to make decisions that's making everybody feel safe. Oh, I and love that. It was, it was um, you know, it's something, it's like you might not always make the right decision, but you've got to make a choice. You've right. got to make a decision and go in a certain direction. Otherwise, you know, it's all going to go off the rails. And, and one of the people that 
I learned from who is like my mentor and hero is Tracy Ullman. Yes. And I did her show um, when I was like a new mom, when, when my oldest was like a, ta- a baby. And I watched her, you know, star, direct, write her own show and troubleshoot right. how to get through the day the quickest, most efficiently, and not compromise the quality. Right. And I just watched her and took a page from that, and it's just really served me That's in my career. Great insight. I, th- I agree. I feel like that is the key. It's like, even though you might be making you might not make a choice that's perfect in the moment. People do feel safer if yeah. you're just sort of decisive. They're like, okay, yeah, someone's in charge. That was them locking us in. Did you they hear did. the door? And I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Let me ask, Alana, Michelle, do you, are you, lo- are you love decision making? Do you love it? Are you like, I love to be in charge. I love to direct the ship. People feel safe in my presence because I'm so aware of my decision making at all times. <laughs> I mean, I actually do love to make decisions. I don't think it's all instinct. And then I, when I mess up, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> but that's just, you know, how I live. What I love to do, too, is find someone that I know knows something more than I do. Yes. So right. I like to find people that I can trust to say, you make that decision. My yeah. decision that I'm making now is that you make that decision. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's really helpful because, uh, you know, uh, so many of my friends, especially powerful women, think they have to do it right. by themselves all the time. You don't. So you're good at delegating. When you know, it's, it's hard to do. It's yeah. hard to do. It is. It is hard to do because if somebody messes up, then you got to have a conversation. (laughs) (laughs) But, you know, I think everybody wants to at least try to be their best. Right. So it's also sort of giving someone an opportunity to see something in in themselves that they didn't see before. Right, right. Yeah. How about you, Alana? How do you, how how does this question sit in your bones? I like it. You like it. (laughs) I like making decisions. You know? <laughs> yeah, I do. I, um, I think, you know, it's like I, I trust my sense of care. Mm-hmm. And I like really what you're saying is resonating with me so hard where it's like, you know, I think also um, moving through the world as a woman, you think you have to do more than your job. Right. Because we usually do and we usually have to um, do it better and more times to be seen uh, mm-hmm. for the first time, you know. And um, I'm really enjoying, as I get older, knowing my limits. Right. And, uh, and that's right, you know, knowing when to hand something off. I, I love an expert. I'm, I'm thrilled to not yes. be one. In fact, yes. I think, like, as, as a leader, <laughs> I'm like, I'm communicating what I'm assuming none of us know. We're all, you know, you know like, I, I, I feel, like, uh, proud to not know, actually, and to... <laughs> Every person on this panel has had their own shows. That's incredible. That's actually, I love yeah. that. Oh, yeah, it's nice. This is a very bossy bunch, and I am one hundred percent here for it. Do you? <laughs> oh, we have so much to discuss. All right, your movie. Okay, so let's talk about the movie. Let's kind of pivot to that. So the three of you have collaborated as a told you about this movie called Babes, which is about getting pregnant. It's about childbirth. I can't think of a better time to talk about this than the beginning of Women's History Month. Yesterday, International Women's Day. Everything's going great for us. Uh, 10 out of 10. No notes. Next question. (laughs) (laughs) And it's crazy because when we were in prep, Roe was repealed. Oh, my God, really? And I was like, oh, fuck. This is like, yeah. you know, because you, you want to be careful with every story because everybody reads into the slightest thing now. Yes. And so it was just like, wow, we're really making this movie about yeah. making yes. a choice. Right. About right making now. a choice. Yes. In this moment. And it really, it also really deeply highlights the parts of 
pregnancy, the parts of birth, the parts of having babies that no one tells you about before you do any of these things. Like I know that you none of none of you were expecting that the whole conversation was going to go down the route of placentas, but it is. Um, we don't just sweep that under the. No, we it's highlight. not. We highlight it, and we need it because we are all. We're all mothers at different stages, at different phases of motherhood. Michelle, you have twins. Yeah. You have five-year-old twins. Ilana, you have little, you have little, little tiny. Yeah, juicy. she's not yet three. She's not yet three. You have kids in their twenties. They're 20s, older than three me. girls in their. their <laughs> I love that you're reverse aging. I'm at the That's place good. where I lie about my kid's age. <laughs> <laughs> just leave it at that. Yeah. I tell everybody I'm 66, so they tell me I look great. So yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, they're like, holy shit, you look amazing. Totally. I'm like, I do, thank you. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I think it's our responsibility to demystify the whole process. Like, we're all... <laughs> there's no... We love our, I have three kids also, all varying ages, like 18, 15, 13. Yeah. Um, Jesus. Wow. I know. There's a wow. lot of. It's so scary to yeah. hear. What? 13? <laughs> That's a lot. Those There's are a lot of adults. mother's milk. There's a lot of mother's milk flowing uh -huh. on this stage. Secrets about our bodies, secrets about motherhood mm. do not help us. Does it not feel like we are kept in the dark? on purpose about what right. happens to our bodies. Like some d dude like high up decided that we all knew that our hair was all going to fall out after, or that you would never go swimming again and not pee in the pool. <laughs> Do they think that we would never have kids? It, you know, um, it's really interesting because <laughs> you go from, you know, snorting rails off each other's tits in your, <laughs> yeah. in your teens to yeah. like snorting Boniva and <sighs> saying yes. like, it, it's, it's, a, it's a weird thing because nobody ever told us about menopause because oh. you know, my mother's generation, you just don't speak of such things. No. And you know, when I got my period, my mother was like, uh, you can use these and she takes out like, a mini cot or mattress. <laughs> and I got confused because I saw um, a Tampax commercial <laughs> and the lady's like, you can play tennis and go swimming and go to the beach. <laughs> and I did it with one of those things and I was like, how are those women really doing it? And then finally, I got my period when I was 12. Okay. At 16, my friend Sherry Olevsky goes, we're going swimming, you're not, come here. And she introduced me to a tampon. Oh. So it's, it's literally about women mm -hmm. showing you and guiding you because yes. you don't yeah. get that. That's right. Yes. Because it's for us to know our bodies and know what we need, want, and what will happen gives us power. And yes. by it's not even like... I don't think it's a campaign for us not to have babies. It's a campaign to keep us like cows having babies. Yes. You yeah. know? Se and separated from each other right. in a state of not knowing. Because if you right. can keep us all confused, yep. yeah. we'll just do what you say. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. And for me, this was a very interesting, special, a dollop of traumatic experience because mm -hmm. my body was never able to carry my children, so I right. had a surrogate. And so here I am reading the script, yeah. the top, <laughs> I'm giving birth, yes. <laughs> my water's broken in public, like, and I'm like, what, and I'm trying to breastfeed a baby, and so I'm looking to these women who have been through this, like, is this how it goes? I right. don't know, because I always dreamed of it, but it didn't happen, but now I'm like in the throes of motherhood, which is its own special mind fuckery. <laughs> and so what was so What's so beautiful about working with these two is that I can say, is this how it goes? And they have like three stories in their back pocket right. to make it look good, funny, relatable, and real. And I just have, as a mom, a new, just a, a crazy appreciation for what women's bodies can do. Right. You know, and um, 
And it's so it's so insane and special. I'm like, no wonder the government wants to control it. <laughs> right, that's right. I, we will break these. We will break your dicks off. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yes. what do you mean? Yes. With no hands. With no hands. <laughs> 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 ah. I ah. loved like the friendship that you demonstrate. I mean, it's that it is you know friendship that is family is such an well, I mean, it's the the theme of the whole movie. I mean, it's just the undercurrent that runs through the entire film. It's a romance. I mean, it is. It's beautiful. Yeah, friendship is, um, you know, I recently, uh, you know, and uh, my core group of girlfriends actually came here yes. to support me and see the movie tonight. Yeah. They're here. And we, and we have maintained this group and it's not just like, hi, hello, casual. Like, I remember I was feeling something that was, um, I knew was a scary thing that was coming up. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to just write to everybody and say, this thing is happening and have everybody go, oh my God, you got this. We love you, babe. <laughs> I hate that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was more like received copy we are taking this in, and the next time we see each other, we're gonna talk. So it's like what you were saying, Mishy, that it's like you want somebody else to make a decision for you sometimes. Mm -hmm. You got a war room with each other. Right. And women doing that together is yes. the most powerful place you can be. It really is. Like, I definitely did not have any of my friends check me for dilation. When I was about to give birth. <laughs> but with an iPhone. You, with an flashlight. iPhone, but that you were able. <laughs> that, that is in this movie twice. Was so beautiful to me. Want to listen to the rest of this episode? Head over to your favorite podcast player to hear the entire show. I highly recommend it. 